So it's early in the morning, y'all. And some of y'all see my review where I went to In and Out for the first time. Try In and Out. Oh yeah, this don't hit. The burger was straight. The only thing about it is the fries wasn't good. Apparently, they got a restaurant that's almost identical to In and Out, but they got better fries and better burgers. Apparently, it's called like Seventh Street Burger or something like that. I'm about to zoom out to New York real quick and I'm about to try that because it was looking righteous. The little animal fries they got was looking crazy. And I'm trying to do this quick because I got a flight in the morning. So me doing all this ripping and running right now is not a good look. I need to get some rest. My shirt is wrinkled, fit kind of slum. And honestly, I don't even care, y'all. I'm gonna smash I seen some cold nights and bloody days. They grab me in bullet spray. They use me wrong, so I sing this song to this day. So I'm finally in New York right now. Y'all already know the worst part about New York is the traffic. I'm in traffic right now. The traffic is worse than the drive. It's a four hour drive, but then when you in like 20, 30 minute traffic, like it really it just ruins your day. You feel me? Like you made it all this way to sit and stand still with traffic, dog. Outdated ass police car, bro. They need some new rims on that bad boy. All right, y'all, so we in New York right now. We gonna see what's good with this 7th Street Burger real quick. I ain't gonna lie, there's a long line outside this jump. Excuse me, y'all. Y'all see, there's a long line. As y'all see, it's a real small spot. Ain't no seating in it. But then again, I don't think there ever is no seating inside of New York, bro. We got it, though. They saying that this right here it's better than in and out This is what they're comparing it to. We're going to see what's up with it real quick. Best food in New York, feel me? I like oh, Flyer Bowls. Flyer Bowls right there. If you yeah. Check it out over there. What's the, what they got in that joint you talking about? They got, they got like bowls. They got like acai bowls. Oh, acai. Yeah. Some, some healthy yeah. stuff, y'all. Yeah, Have y'all ever want some healthy stuff? My boy said check out the bowl. I had to put my camera on a random windowsill, y'all. I don't got a cameraman with me today. It's just me out here, you feel me? I'm out here solo right now. You feel me? I got the food. They comparing this right here to In-N-Out, y'all. And I had to check it out because I had In-N-Out recently and the In-N-Out was banging. Boom. We got a double cheeseburger right here, y'all. And also, we got day version of the animal fries. So here go a look of the loaded beef fries, y'all. Kind of remind you of them animal fries at, at In-N-Out, y'all. But they fries look way more crispy. Come with fries, a burger, some onions, and that secret sauce. Loaded beef fries. You see, and they loaded. They got a good flavor to them, y'all. The sauce tastes almost identical to the sauce that they had at in and out y'all. They jacked them. Jacked them for their sauce. Me personally, I'm going to get full off of these. So I wouldn't recommend getting a burger and getting the animal fries. This is a double cheeseburger. Then there's another patty right here. That's three patties right there. Plus you get all these fries and the sauce. So you know how many calories is in this shit? Too damn many. You know what I mean? I'm trying to lose weight, not gain it. They taste good though. They taste better than the fries in In-N-Out. That's for sure. And I think the reason why is because these fries got more flavor to them. They pretty crispy. And they just a W. Now we got the burger. And like I said, everybody's comparing this to In-N-Out, bro. Somebody even said that this is the best burger in New York City. That's what somebody said. We gonna find out. You got that patty, cheese, sauce, pickles laid on a potato roll. You see it. I don't really know how they comparing this to In-N-Out because I see In-N-Out, they go ahead and they put lettuce and tomato on it. You feel me? This is no lettuce and tomato, but it's looking delicious. Looks like a smash burger to me. We love smash burgers. You feel me? The roll is fluffy and delicious and it pretty much dissolves in your mouth. You see, the patties is pretty thin, but the patty is pretty juicy. I personally like for my patties to taste like the grill. These don't taste like the grill. However, they are juicy. They're nice smash burgers. And the pickles and sauce complement it very well. 
This is a this is a pretty good burger. Although the burger doesn't come with a lot of toppings on it, it still has a decent amount of flavor to it. It's pretty good. Not gonna lie to you, I'm feeling it. I'm definitely feeling it. This burger is gonna get an 8.5 out of 10 for me. All right, y'all, so I'm walking into this random pizza shop real quick. I'm about to go ahead, I'm about to grab me one of them, uh, one of them Cokes real quick. I'm thirsty as heck. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, but the pizzas in this zone look, look all right. My man said all these pizzas right here is vegan, y'all. Vegan pizzas, he got the vegan options, all of that stuff. What would you recommend they eat? There's a vegan people. This neighborhood is working. Oh, you said this whole neighborhood's vegan? Yeah. Look, if you're vegan and you're looking for a place to live, my man right here, he said this whole area is for vegans, you feel me? They do not discriminate. They got vegan pizzas in this junk. I'm trying to tell you, they got some good pizzas in this junk. It look like it got some vegan barbecue sauce, and that's vegan steak? That's vegan barbecue chicken. Vegan barbecue chicken. How the fuck can chicken be vegan, bro? It ain't even chicken. How in the fuck is it chicken? You know what I mean? Chicken's an animal. Damn. <laughs> Sheesh. Y'all see it. Basil pesto. Damn. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm a huge fan of pesto sauce. I really wasn't even expecting on getting this right here, bro. I went in there to, to go ahead and get my drink. But the dude, he was cool in there, so I wanted to support him, y'all. So we're gonna try out the artistic pizza real quick. The best back rubs for men and women. Sounds to me like they having a sauces fest in there. You know what I'm saying? Straight happy endings. Y'all see what we got here? We got that basil pesto pizza. Woo! John smelling good. It's that New York pizza. They say this is a big rich town. I just come from the poorest parts. Oh yeah. It's not cool. The pesto sauce has an extremely overpowering flavor. You don't really taste the tomato sauce, all you taste is pesto. The basil leaves, well, those are there for decoration. A little bit of garnish, if you know what I mean. Basil leaves don't really have much flavor. All I'm tasting is pesto. Not a whole lot of cheese. They threw a little bit of mozzarella on it. You see. It's straight sauce and pesto. Sauce and pesto. Is it bad? No, it's not. Tastes pretty good. It's decent. Great option for all my vegetarians out there. Let's see what the crust is tasting like. The crust got some crunch to it. However, the flavor kind of reminds me of DiGiorno's. I mean, some might think that's a bad thing. Some might say it's a good thing. This right here, yeah, I give it a seven. 